Hey, this is a follow-up to the overview lesson I did on building out character interactions and in this one I want to show you uh, well first I'm going to be giving you this the source files to this file so that you know but I wanted to go through some of the setup uh, that'll save you a lot of headaches and what I learned when I was building out these character interactions so this is in PowerPoint um, I'll do a few other lessons um, about PowerPoint as well as uh, some of the other tools but really quickly just wanted to run, run through uh, the setup so uh, if I go into the slide sorter view you can see a single scenario is actually a collection of five slides this uh, sixth one is just for more information so we have the base level which is the scenario and then each time you're clicking on one of these choices it's actually taking you to a new slide you're hyperlinking from one slide to the new slide and then the try again button is linking you back so you'll see this is the base scenario feedback for A, feedback for B, feedback for C, feedback for D, which was the, the correct option. Um, so let's get back into the normal view. And you'll see I have the selection and visibility pane open. Um, one of the really important things to do uh, when you're working with these character interactions and actually anytime you're doing any authoring in PowerPoint for e-learning is to really name all of the objects that are on the slide. It makes your life so much easier when you're dealing with, um, with hyperlinks and objects and layering. Um, the other thing you should know is I've broken apart the link from the object. So this hyperlink, you'll see I've called it link A. Um, Choice A is actually the, the box that has the text in it. Link A I put in as a box uh, with 100% transparency. And that gives you more flexibility with how you build out your links. And it's just easier dealing with, uh, with the text and the linking and all of that, having them be separate objects. Um, another important thing is you'll notice that I have, this is all um, slide title layout. So if I go back to home, it's the title only. And actually, there's another point. I have the um, the background image in the slide master view, so that's that's an important thing. But this title only, what I do is I push the title up here, and for this scenario I have it named one, and then for choice A I have it as one A, choice B is one B, one C for the next one, one D, and that naming is really important. Um, when you're dealing with your hyperlinking and linking within the document, uh, it's easy to get lost, um, and this provides some sort of order for you when you're clicking around. Um, the other thing that I do is uh, I don't use the full resolution characters, so all of these characters that I have here are scaled down for optimal PowerPoint size, which is uh, 7.5 inches tall at 72 dpi. Um, I make those available on my site as well. You can, uh, I can show you how to do a script if you have your own characters and want to, uh, want to resize them. But uh, that, that makes it so uh, your output file size and your, um, your source files will be much smaller. And then when you go to swap out an image, you're not dealing with a massive file that imports. Um, and the 7.5 inches tall is basically it's head to toe full screen in PowerPoint just so that you know. Um, the other thing that I do is I, I use the drawing guides. So that other character, um, if you don't know how to turn drawing guides on, just right click outside of here, go to grid and guides, and then uh, display drawing guides on screen. But I know that the old character, his head was positioned at the top of this and his feet were at the, at the top of that line. So if I turn him around, I can know that he should be sized about like that and then get that center line in the middle of his body. That, uh, that really helps out. Um, I also, when I build out these scenarios, I like to have a more information slide. That could just be some slide that I would link to that would have attachments or something like that. Um, now, when you're layering in the, author, the authoring tool, rapid authoring tool, so it could be, um, it could be Adobe presenter or articulate presenter um, you'll want to strip out all of the the player options because PowerPoint is really doing the navigation of this all so this was an overview on what the setup is I'm going to show you a little bit more on how to make changes um, in the next lesson um, there's just too much to do here in uh, in five minutes so hope you found that helpful um, stay tuned for more lessons